Hello everyone, my name's Tonko and today I'm showing you how to make the 4x4 piston door. This one might just be the best, I'm not kidding. So with the press of a button, our door opens up and just look at that animation. It may not be perfect, but it is very good. Then we can head on into our red room, close it behind us if you want to. The animation so cool. I could actually watch this thing all day. Taking a look at its redstone, you'll see it's only two blocks wide. And I try my best to keep it as simple looking and as easy to build as I possibly can do. I try to limit these to observers, but that's kind of hard to do in these big doors. So to build it, this is everything you're going to need. Very cheap indeed, but you're also going to have to bring your own building blocks but that's completely up to you. Dirt will work just fine. You're also gonna need a 12 block long by eight block tall by two block wide gap. And this will be the frame of your door here. So your actual door will be on the inside of this, but you want to get this in place because it makes the tutorial just that extra bit easier. So go build this. Then with that in place, we can start the tutorial. The first thing that we're going to be doing is the piston layout. These are the pistons that actually move to close and open your door. You want to place in a row of upwards facing pistons here. You want to carry on on either side, then replicate this on the very top as well. So sticky pistons facing downwards, downwards, and then a massive row of downward sticky pistons all at the top. Then you want to come to a side, two temporary blocks here, two sticky pistons coming to the left, and more on top of that. Then replicate this on the other side. So two sticky pistons and then two sticky pistons. Like so. So it's quite obvious that the bottom row pistons and the top row pistons, they just extend. So on the closing, these two will first extend. Then these will get pushed out. And these will finally extend and this pushes the two middle blocks in place. Then on retraction, these ones retract. These ones retract. Then there's a double piston extender to grab these blocks and then they all get retracted. So that's how it works basically. You then to come round to the back of your door. You're going to place in dust along all of these over here. Two blocks up, dust on top of them, and then dust going all the way to the end, like so. Then on either side, you want to put blocks up, dust on the end one, and then two foot delay repeaters going directly into this sticky piston, and replicate this on the other side. Like so. Then on either end of these dusts, you want to place a piston going upwards and a piston going upwards. But then for now, we're going to be sticking to the right. And the very first thing you want to do is place an observer going off towards the right, a block on top of this, an observer going in the opposite direction with another block on top of that. Then you want to come three blocks up, destroy these two lower blocks, and just place a regular piston facing downwards just so. You then replicate this on the other side. So you've already got your piston in place, then place an observer going the opposite direction of your door. A block. Observer going into your door. A block on top of that. Three temporary blocks. Destroy this. And a piston facing downwards. Destroy that block. You want to pick a side. Doesn't really matter. But you want to place the top block with a redstone block. And you have to do this with one side only. Then place a half slab next to this redstone block. With a 40 delay repeater coming away. You want to run lines across all of this. But a block in front of that piston with rest and dust along all of this, and a block to the right. So it looks something like this. And bear in mind, you will be able to see these blocks from the bottom, so you can make them look nice if you want to, but I don't really care about the looks. They come back round to the back, you want to place in a block here, dust on top of that, then you want to get yourself a good looking block, and you want to place it here. This is very important that you place a solid block here, otherwise it won't work. You want to replicate this on the other side as well. So a block, dust, and then a solid block, like so. You want to come round to the back, Two blocks here, dust on top of both of them. That will make that piston fire, but it's okay. Just replicate this on the other side, so two blocks and two dust. You want to move your way back around to the front, and when we have these blocks over here, we're going to come on observer away. Rest and repeat is set to four ticks with a block in front of that. And replicate this on the other side, so observer coming away, repeat is set to four ticks, block in front of that. Then you place a rest and repeater going into this top sticky piston. But behind it, dust, an observer coming away from this piston with a block in front of that. And replicate this on the other side. So observer coming away from this sticky piston, repeater going into this piston, a solid block behind it, dust, then a block coming away from this observer. So it looks something like this. You're going to come round to the bottom, and where you have this sticky piston over here, and place an observer going downwards, then an observer going into this block. This block will also have to be a solid block. And finally, replicate this on the other side, so observer coming downwards, 
than an observer going into that block. So bear in mind that any of these rests and dust along here, these are going to be your input blocks. So you can literally attach a lever to any one of these dusts and it will work the door. So if you flick it, it all closes nice. Then we open it, it all opens. There we go. Now all that's left for you to do is to decorate the door. But that's all for me and I'll see you all later. Have fun with your new 4x4 piston door. Bye.